Hello everybody and welcome to your yoga morning flow. First things first, before we start, please make sure to create space for yourself. What I mean by this is if you've got a little space at home that you may be doing next to your bed, I understand people are limited with space, but make sure that you create a little vibe for yourself. That means you can put a Himalayan salt lamp on. That's it. You can light some incense. I've got some sage here, burning some sage before I start. I've also got some incense in there. Light a candle. Guys, make it vibey for yourself. Why? Because you deserve it. That's why. You deserve to create space for yourself. You deserve to hold space for yourself. So, why the hell not? Anyways, this morning I woke up and I just felt a little bit tired. So, I thought today's workout, workout of the mind, is all about opening up the body, getting that blood flow, getting the brain ready, getting the body ready, getting more oxygen, exercising the lungs so that you can start with this first thing in the day and go into your day feeling that you've got a fresh mind, fresh body. So that's the idea of my class. I need to wake up my brain, I need to wake up my body, I need to give myself a little bit of an energy boost, so an energy boost yoga flow. When you're ready, my darlings, please come and sit into a free seat. You can see I'm sitting on a meditation cushion. That just helps my hips. If you feel that you'd like to deepen your practice because you have that kind of flexibility, you are more than welcome to sit into a half lotus or a full lotus. My darlings might never sit in a full lotus just because, yeah, my hips don't move like that. And it's just really uncomfortable. So you can decide. With the round readjust, you can get yourself a cushion, you can sit with your back up against the wall, whatever really feels good for you, but creating a space in your seated position where the brain and the body understands, cool, it's time to switch off, it's time to take a few breaths, and it's time to move and groove. Not think about work, not think about other people, places, or things, but just focusing on yourself. Cool. All right, darlings, I would like you to place your palms facing up, being open and receptive to the universe, to yourself, to God, as you understand. And then I want you to feel that you're lengthening into the spine. You can even roll the shoulders back, open up into that chest. You want to feel that you're almost pushing into the hips, pushing into the pubic bone. That's just going to help you tilt that pelvis forward and sit upright into your spine. So palms facing up, extending into the crown of your head, connecting you to all that is. And when you're ready, my little puddings, drop your chin slightly. Gently close those eyes. All we are going to do for our meditation is we're just going to breathe. So, first things first, you can inhale through the mouth, exhale through the mouth, you can inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Whatever works for you right now, we're going to do that. But we're going to elaborate on the breath. So we're going to overextend, we're going to over exhale, and we're going to just add some sass to our breath. So keeping the eyes closed, keeping those palms facing up, feel that you're sitting strong, you're sitting confident into yourself. And when you're ready, baby, she knows, let's go. Take a deep breath in. Expand the belly and slow breath out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Deeper breath in. Slow breath out. Last two. Okay, exhale. The last one, deep breath in. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. And then nice slow exhale. Coming back to your natural breath. Feel that you maybe sit just a little bit taller into the body. We sit a little bit more with confidence. And we're going to do this breath exactly the same. Except you're doing it five times. So the last breath, we will hold that inhale and we'll do a really super slow exhale. Keep your brain focused, keep your brain disciplined on our breath work. We've got one more breath set to do. Let's go, baby Chapish. Deep breath in. Deeper breath out. Keep breathing with me. Okay, exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Deepest breath in. 
Hold your breath. Hold your breath, don't panic. And then nice slowly exhale. Come back to your natural breath. And immediately feel the change because of an exaggerated breath. You literally did five breaths in, five breaths out, twice. And all of a sudden you create just a simple change in your brain, in your body. So keeping those eyes closed, baby Chino, sit a little bit taller, a little bit stronger in that body. And then just in your head and your heart today, we dedicate time to just loosening up. Loosening up that stuck energy in the brain, loosening up maybe some tension in the body, tension in the heart, so that we create a space where the brain feels good and the body feels good. When you're ready, taking a deep breath in. And as we exhale, slowly dropping the chin into your chest. Slowly blinking those eyes a couple of times, getting the eyes used to the light. Then when you're ready, my darlings, nice and slow, lifting those beautiful heads up, lifting those beautiful bodies up, and let the moving and grooving begin. So when you're ready, if you are sitting in a meditation cushion, you can take it throw it out of the way, and I want everyone to please help yourself up to all fours. Hands are coming underneath those shoulders and knees are underneath your hands. Spreading into those beautiful hands, you want to feel that you're pushing weight into the knuckles. Often what happens is people tilt those arms back, they push more weight into the palm of the hand, and that's why your wrists get sore. So creating that conscious idea in your head, or that decision in your head that you want to push weight into the knuckles and you just want to start to feel that we're strengthening the hands as much as we're strengthening other parts of the body. So making sure that your knees are hip distance apart. Again, maybe you are delusional, your hips are not as big as you think they are. Put them a little bit closer and actually check how big your hips are. You're crazy. You're crazy. Keeping that beautiful box shape of the body, we're working with our breath as we exhale. Push the floor away from you. I'm punching you in the stomach with love. Drop the chin to your chest and we can. And as we inhale, we're lifting our happy cat. You want to feel the stretch from the chin all the way down into your pubic bone. Let's go. Exhale, happy cat. Inhale, happy cat. When you're ready, eyes are closed. Work with your breath. Exhale to your angry cat. Inhale, happy cat. Starting to feel that you're able to push the body just a little bit deeper into your womb. And let's go for the last three. Your last two. Keep it breathing. Last one. Lifting up into that happy cat. And then slowly come back to a neutral body. You want to suck the ribcage in, tilt into that pelvis. We're going to look up onto the fingertips by the hands. If you can only do one hand at a time, that's absolutely fine. But I want you to make sure to use your one dominant hand to drop down and to lift up. So lifting up onto the fingertips by the hands, we create nice strong hands. Hardest part, roll into those hands, hang the elbows in, baby chaturanga. Let's go pushing up. Two. Big exhale. Three. Four. Keep that belly tight. Feel how much those arms shake in the baby chachi ranga. Last one, five. And slowly lifting that body back up. Spreading into the fingers, left hand to the center of the chest, right arm opens up and twists. We look at the hand. And then gently dropping that right hand to the center of your mat, left arm opens up, twists. So watch that my hips are moving with my body. So I'm just allowing my spine to open up. I'm trying to open up into the armpits, into the chest. And when you're ready, we're going to work with our breath. You're going to close your eyes. You're going to listen to my voice. Exhale, we open up. Inhale, we drop the hand. Exhale, we open up. So your breath is there to force you to slow down. Inhale, we drop. Exhale, we open up. Inhale, we drop. Exhale, open up. 
Inhale, we drop. Exhale, open up. Two more with a twist. Inhale, drop it into that left hand. Exhale, open up that right arm. And then we're going to take that right arm under. We're going to drop onto the right shoulder, right ear, threading the needle, twisting into the back belly. Extending that left arm up above your head. If your rolls are coming over your pants, love them. Don't panic too much. You must learn to love the rolls, my babies, not hate on them, please. Whew. Slowly pull that left hand closer to your face. Push into the floor. Unravel that beautiful body. Exactly the same thing on the opposite side. Right hand to the center of the chest. Left arm opens up. We twist. And then we drop onto that left shoulder, left ear, threading the needle, feeling chocolate side and not chocolate. Right arm up above your head, embracing the rolls coming over the pants. Love them, don't hate on them. And smoothie baby chinos, pull that right hand close to your face, push it into the floor and back. Spreading into the fingers, readjusting the body, readjusting the brain. Right, all we are going to do is we're just going to swing that little left leg. What I want you to please make sure of my eight-up personality is you are not extending, we are not trying to get height, we are not trying to show off and look beautiful, that's fabulous, not the point. The point is to loosen up into the knee and into the hip. So watch that I keep my pelvis tilted, I'm not doing any of this, tipa tipa, I'm sucking my rib cage in, I'm activating my belly, look at my shoulders get bigger. This part of my body stays nice and strong, that's where it's holding the weight, and then I just gently rock that cute little left leg. Here I'm lubricating into the knee, I'm lubricating into the hip. Also a really cool movement for runners. If you're going to go run, a really cool way to just loosen up that body. Right, keeping that position of the body, I want you to close your eyes. Keep rocking that cute little left leg. And we're rocking that leg for another three, two, and one. Gently dropping into the left knee, keep the eyes closed, start to rock that cute little right leg. We're lubricating into the knee, into the hip. You're breathing in, you're breathing out, you're not holding your breath. Rocking that leg for another three, two, and one. Gently dropping into that right knee. Wiggle the body around, we adjust, spread into the fingers. You should feel that the wrists are starting to take a bit pretend that's normal. But we've got one more movement on our hands and knees, and this movement is to activate the lower part of the glutes. The glute that gets lacking lazy. So watch my movement first, and then you are going to do 10 with me. I keep this position with my body, I pull my left knee forward, I do a half little moon. Watch that I'm not trying to lift my knee as high as I possibly can. I stop at the end of the half moon and I pull it back exactly the same way I can. Watch again, I pull forward, I open up, I pull it back. Take it in, Okay, what I don't want is you're not trying to lift the hip. You're also not doing a full circle with the hip. My babies, the movement is small, so the knee goes choo choo choo, and it goes choo choo. Okay, so it pulls forward, it does a half moon, and it pulls back. Literally, goes this way it needs to go and comes back the way it went. We are doing 10 each leg. Again, you want to make sure that you're not tipa tipa into the body. You want to activate your leg, a nice big back push weight into the knuckles. And then almost shift the right knee a little bit inward so that you're creating more support in the body. And then when you're ready, pull the left knee forward, half moon to keep. And then pull it back. Easy. Two. Three. Now you can close your eyes. Four. Two. Last one. Dropping that left knee, we go a little bit to the right side. Keep the eyes closed. Another one. Two. If your hips are kicking, please make your movements a bit smaller. That's not the point. We don't want to kick the hips. We want them to loosen up. No tears. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Number nine and ten. Slowly dropping into that right knee, you should start to feel the heart is starting to pump just a little bit. We spread it into those fingers even more, and then the games begin. Tuck your toes under, transfer back into your down dog. Exhale. In your down dog position, relax the head and slowly start to walk those legs out, bending and straightening one leg at a time. Walking those 
the exact for another tree. Two. And last one. Pushing both heels a little bit deeper into the floor, pushing the chest a little bit deeper in towards your quads. And when you're ready, looking in between those hands for now, step forward if you have that. Remember, I always step with my lunge on that leg. Why? Because I want to work both sides of my brain. So flat back, inhale, lifting up, balancing the cat on your back if you could. Exhale, we fold, you bend your knees, you relax the head completely. Inhale, reverse one, lifting up, breathing in, squeeze your tissues. Exhale, chair. Hands to the floor. Step back, on down the leg, down to hockey. Again, back knees, embrace the rolls. If the tongue pushes and goes over your pants, it's the least of your problems. Bending rolls are beautiful rolls. Okay, let's do another three of these, then we're going to start jumping the movement. Stepping forward, flat back, inhale. Exhale, fall. Reverse one. Chair. Hands to the floor. Step back, down, down. We're going to do two more. Keep your eyes closed, listen to my voice. Step forward, flat back, inhale. We balance it kindly on our backs. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Reverse one, lift up. Exhale, chair. Hands to the floor, stepping back down, doggy. Stepping forward, flat back. Exhale. Reverse one. Exhale. Hands to the floor. Step it back into your down dog. We're going to round, we adjust baby chinos, and then the games begin. This is our energy boost that we need. So get that blood pumping, get that heart going, and just get that brain feeling better. When you are ready, jump forward flat back. Exhale, fold. Reverse swap. Exhale, chair. Hands to the floor, jump back down to Let's do three more of these, then we're going to add some sets. Jump forward, flat back. Yeah, you go. Exhale, fold. Exaggerate your breathing. Reverse one. Mm -hmm. Chair. Hands to the floor, jump back down, don't you? Phew. You are only getting stronger. Jump forward. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Reverse one. Exhale, chair. Hands to the floor, jump back down, doggy. Last one, jumping forward, flat back. Exhale, we fold. Reverse one, lift up, breathe in. Exhale, swan back. Oh, definitely not, we're going to do our chair. Sinking into your chair pose. Hands to the floor, jump back down, doggy. Phew. And then everyone can swivel around and adjust. My brain obviously gets so trapped in the movement that sometimes I forget what I even tell you to do. But in your down dog, starting to feel the heart is pumping, the blood is flowing, my baby, spread your fingers, push the heels a little bit deeper. Whew, and take a deep breath in. As we exhale, I want everyone to please drop your knee slowly, slowly. Whew. And then want to pull back into your heels. If this is not a comfortable position for you, you are more than welcome to drop into your glutes. Whatever feels good for you, and now is the opportunity to fix your clothing. So, this happens in yoga, my darlings. The pants roll down, the belly's gonna go over the pants, and the sooner you love your rolls, the more it will stop irritating you, okay? So, a really cool place to start if you struggle with body dysmorphia, then you've just gotta go in bed because you've gotta love that body. And a really cool affirmation for your body is thank you for holding me. So, if you struggle with body dysmorphia and the way that you see yourself in the mirror, you're going to start doing things when you go in front of the mirror and you say, thank you for holding me and you can run away if it makes you nervous. But the more and more you do it, I promise you, the more you treat your body well, the body's going to treat you well back. The more nasty you are to your body, your body will treat you that way. It's a crazy thing. Um, I know I sound crazy, but mirror working affirmation, golden stuff. Right. You're going to watch me. I'm going to go super sonic fast. I'm going to show you what we're going to do, and all we are going to do is we're going to do seven. It is an inject of natural energy, you're going to get these endorphins, and you are going to go fuck today up. That's pretty much what we want to do. You want to get your brain in a good space when you're like, yes! Let's go.
Okay, so watch me first, I'm going to go a little bit quicker, and we're only doing seven. No matter what your seven looks like, you don't have to be strong, you don't have to be slow. The thing is, you need to keep going, no matter how tired you get, or no matter how often the brain's like, oh, I can't do this. Of course you can. Of course you can. Okay, watch me first. You can even check your wrists out whilst you sit there, you can rotate them a little bit. Watch me, and then we'll move together. So everything stays the same, we're going to jump forward, flat back, do do do. Exit, hoo, with this one. Chair, hoo, hands to the floor. We're going to jump back either into a plank, and then you can drop the knees, touch your lung down, lift up cobra. That's option one. Remember, when we pull back with any movement, you want to make sure that you're activating the shoulders and the belly, and that's actually what pulls you back, not your legs. Okay, option one. When you jump back, plank, drop your knees, touch your lung down. Option two, do G T do Hands to the floor, jump back to Chiranga. Lift up cobra and come down. Right, babies, we are doing this seven times. That's it. That's it. If anything, I just want to show to people movement doesn't have to be this big crazy thing all the time. It can literally be 15, 20 minutes sometimes. And that's enough. Okay, listen to how I break that. Baby Chinos, seven them together strong. Don't stop. Why? Because you deserve to push for yourself. After that, we relax, we take it easy, we breathe, and we go on our day. So when you're ready, into your down dog heat. Last one, sorry. If your pants start to roll down, you're not allowed to lift them up, only until after our seven movements. Right, in your down dog, please get your brain in the right place. You're going to say things like, I can do this. We're going to round the adjust when the brain is ready. Go jump and forward, flat back. Exhale, fold. Reverse one. Exhale, chair. Hands to the floor, let's do option one together. Jump back, plank. Drop your knees. Touch around you no matter how much you shake, even if your body drops to the floor. Everyone lift up, cobra, squeeze your cute glutes. Drop your head back. Use your core, punch you in the stomach with that, down. Whew. The rest of them I'm doing the difficult ones. Jump forward, flat back. That was a good one. Exhale four. Reverse one. Chair. Hands to the floor, you decide. Jump back, touch your right if you can. Lift up, cobra squeeze. Whew. Pull back down, down. We're gonna run with just five more. We only get stronger. Jump forward, flat back. Exhale four. Reverse one. Already you're telling yourself you can. Chair. Hands to the floor, jump back, touch around that. Tiki tiki. Lift it up, cobra squeeze. High ball. Down, down. Five more. Jumping forward. Exhale. Reverse one. Chair. Hands to the floor, jump back, touch around that. Lifting up squeeze. Whew. Down, down. Four more, we only get stronger for you. Jumping forward, flat back. Exhale, fold, relax your knees, no knees. Reverse four. Exhale, chair. Hands to the floor, strong body, stronger mind. Touch around there. Lifting up cobra squeeze. Down, down. Three more, stronger every time, please, baby. Jumping forward, flat back. Exhale, four. Reverse one. Two. Hands to the floor, touch my back. Whew. <laughs> Lifting up into your cobra, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last two. Down, down. Really just remind. Jumping forward, flat back. Exhale. Reverse one. Chair. Already in your brain, you're saying you can do it. Jump back, check your anger. Lift up, cobra. <sighs> My elbows. Down, down. Last one together, strongest one together. My babies, you should feel your heart is pumping, brain is pumping. You've got this. Jump forward, flat back. Exhale. Reverse one. Exhale. Hands to the floor. Strongest one yet. Chachalanga. 
Lifting up into your cobra, squeeze your cute glutes. This time I'm punching in the stomach, pull back, child's pose. Bend your beautiful elbows. Catch up with your beautiful breath. Relax your heads, close your eyes. And just try to regulate your breathing. Your breathing. Taking a smoother breath in, deeper breath out. Ooh, and just catching up with your breath. I want you to start feeling that you can take deeper breaths in, deeper breaths out. Trying to focus on that exhale, my darlings, the exhale is there to slow down the body, to slow down the breath. To regulate the heart, to regulate that breathing, let's try to take a smooth breath in. Slow the breath out. One more together, breathe in. Breathe out. So even if you were doing the jump chaturangas and you fell onto the floor, your chest was hitting the floor, your elbows were getting in, that's okay. That's okay. Remember, you've got to build that strength in your brain, in your brain first. So if the brain saying things like, oh, I can't do this, I'm not strong enough whilst you're moving, that's how you're talking to yourself, you lunatic. No, no. Whilst you're moving, I've got this, you've got this. Um, you should be your own chair that I paid you strong. Whatever. Those kinds of things. That's how you want to talk to yourself. Thank you so much. Um, also, just another place where you can work to get really, really strong for you. Right. Hands go onto those knees, lengthen into that beautiful spine. I want you to please drop into the right hand, take that left arm up and over. We're going to work with our breath. Breathe in. Exhale, we drop. When we're ready, close those eyes. Breathe in. Exhale, we drop. Keep moving. Last two. We exhale. And last one. We exhale. Slowly coming back to your center position. Lengthening into that beautiful spine and going into a one half breath work for a minute. After that, we're going to close our eyes. We're going to meditate a little bit differently today. This is an energizing work flow. Do it first thing in the morning and then really deep. So, the breath work is we're going to work through our mouth. We're going to breathe. So, in school we were taught when you breathe in, you suck your belly in. That is absurd. You need to make sure that when you breathe in, the lungs expand. And as you exhale, they contract. We're doing that for a minute. An exaggerated breath. There will be a moment where you might feel a little bit lightheaded. Keep going. Keep going. And then at the end of our, you can see how busy my brain is. At the end of the breath, we're going to do one last exhale, one last inhale, and we're going to hold our breath. Okay, after that, we're going to slow exhale, and then we come back to natural breath. We'll close our eyes when we sit in our seat, under our free seat. I'm going to meditate like that today. We've got a minute. Minute to breathe, we've got 10 seconds. So, sitting nice and tall, I'll let you know when you need to close your eyes. You can watch me for the first few breaths. Let's go three, two, one. Deep breath in, big exhale. Close your eyes.
Last deep breath in. Last deep breath out. Half breath in. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Three, two, one. Slow exhale. So we start to regulate that breath with just slow breaths in and slow breaths up. Sitting nice and tall and confident into your body. Palms are facing up, being open and receptive to the universe. Eyes are closed and again, baby chinos, feel the change you have created because of simple movements, simple breath work and challenging movements, challenging breath work. So keep those eyes closed, regulate that breath. And as you sit here, you're prepping yourself for your day, you're prepping yourself for the week, for the weekend. Today I'm going to be confident, I'm going to be calm. Today I'm going to be feminine, furious, whatever it is that you need to be. Use your words. Today I'm going to be this and this. Today I'm going to be powerful, I'm going to be productive. You're going to say the things that you need today. So you are prepping the brain, prepping the body for an amazing day. So as you sit here, my darlings, I want you to feel that you sit with confidence. Why? Because you deserve to sit with confidence. That's why. I want you to just feel how powerful this practice is for your brain, for your body. And as you sit here, the most important thing to exercise, your brain. No, it is. Your brain. So feel that you're extending into the crown of your head. We open up into the shoulders and together as a community of movers, I want you to take a deep breath in, lifting both arms up, gathering yourself for this new day ahead. As you exhale, pull the hands into the heart, drop the chin to your chest. In your head, in your heart, you're going to remind yourself, I've got this. That even today, for today's class, I don't want you to whisper in your head, you're not going to be like, I've got this. You're going to sit up strong, you're going to sit up confident, and in your head, in your heart, you're going to use the words today, I've got this. So if you say goodbye to yourself, say goodbye to this practice. And thank you so much for moving, grooving, and being fearless with me today. Makozi, my babies. Namaste.